Well, we shall be having that minute uh, two days in a week uh, in a program we are calling the moment of truth, the moment of truth, where we shall be catching up, uh, you know, to get enlightened on where we are as a church of Jesus Christ and what is truth on the ground and, uh, you know, spiritually or according to the word of God, what is truth. And so I want to bring up to us a moment of truth, uh, some that minute, and I would want to read the word of God in the book of uh, Daniel chapter 12, Daniel chapter 12, and I want to begin from verse 4. The Bible says, but you, Daniel, so this is about the prophecy of the end time, the prophecy of the end time. Uh, the governments that uh, are saying there is nothing about end time in the church. Uh, we shall not uh, cow down. We shall not stop talking about this because it is there and that's where we are. So the prophecy about the end time or the prophecy of the end time. So the Bible says in the book of Daniel chapter 12 and verse 4, but you Daniel shut up the words and sealed the book until the time of the end. So what uh, God is telling Daniel to shut up is, you know, uh, these are words and to seal the book until the time of the end, many shall learn to and fro, and knowledge shall increase. Now, when the, the word of God is shut up, and when the book is sealed, the Bible says that many will learn to and fro. And this is where we are seeing the book of Amos. You know, the Bible talking about the famine or the hunger that will be there in the end times. And this hunger is and the thirst is not for, you know, the physical food, but for the words of God. And this is what we are seeing here. Many will learn to and fro. Amos is also saying people will even, you know, go from sea to sea seeking for the words of God, but the Bible says they will find none. Because why? If the book is sealed, if the words are shut up, then people cannot access. So the Bible says, and knowledge shall increase. Now, my concentration is that portion of the scripture that knowledge shall increase. Knowledge shall increase. Now, the Bible says in verse, um, verse 9 of the same 9 and 10, you can read the other scriptures, uh, they are also good, uh, but my I want to, because of the time, the Limited time I have. It's uh, that minute, a moment of truth, that minute uh, of a moment of truth, you know, the prophetic truth or the, the, you know, the biblical truth, that is what we shall be looking at. And the Bible says, and he said, go your own way, Daniel, for the words are crossed up and sealed till the time of the end. So these words have been sealed up and crossed up until now. So the Bible says in verse 10, many shall be purified, the church of Jesus Christ, the remnants of God's people, we shall be purified and uh, made white and refined. We shall be purified, purged and refined and made white, but the wicked shall do wickedly. Wicked. In, I want you to notice what the Bible says in chapter in, in verse 4, that knowledge will increase. Verse 10, the Bible says, but the wicked shall do wickedly. wickedly. Now, I want you to see as the kingdom of God is getting purified, the people of God are getting purified and being made white and being refined. You know, there, there is a, you know, the, the purification, the purging and the refining. Hallelujah. So the wicked shall do wickedly wickedly and none of the wicked shall understand none of the wicked shall understand but the wise shall understand hallelujah and uh, you know let me tell you my brethren now this is a moment of the truth and we cannot pray a bright eye we cannot pray a damp ear uh, of what is happening and where we are now we are in the last lap we are in the last lap prophetically we are in the last lap and uh, you know this last lap we are almost getting hold of the finishing line that means our uh, our savior you know and i said the other day uh, for those who have been following us on these platforms uh, that jesus is not coming as a savior he 
is now our savior, but he's not coming back as a savior. So our Messiah, you know, our, our Lord is coming back. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is coming back. Hallelujah. So uh, what do we see? Uh, we, we, we see uh, the season we are in, you know, the two kingdoms, the kingdom of God. You know, that's why the Bible, Daniel is saying here that those who do wicked shall do wickedly. Hallelujah. And, uh, you know, knowledge will increase. We are in that end time. And I've told you, uh, this is the last life. We are the generation that is the finishing generation. We are the people, you know, holding the last button, you know, of the end time move of God. And number two, uh, we are the people, you know, who are ushers, you know, of the end time, you know, uh, move of God, number three, and ushering in, you know, a, a generation that is ushering in the second coming of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And uh, what you realize is as, 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 uh, the season has found us uh, as a generation, uh, as the righteous of God, you know, we have been made righteous of God. Hallelujah. So you realize, you know, God is already purifying us. He's already doing that. God is already purging us. We are being made why God is already purging us. And God is already, uh, you know, is already, you know, refining us. He's already purifying us, purging us and refining us. Hallelujah. But the kingdom, those who are wicked and the kingdom of darkness, hallelujah, is continuing to be more darker, is continuing to be more wicked and much knowledge is increasing. Now, Church of Jesus Christ, as we know from, from 2019, December going, crossing over to 2020, uh, you know, uh, we, we entered into a season and, you know, from 2017, the Lord prepared us and he told us that we have entered into a season of biochem bio biochemicals, you know, bio biochemicals. And, and uh, God prepared us that we are going to see, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, these chemicals, you know, being tested or uh, the, the human race you know, will operate through bio, a lot of biochemicals. And not only biochemicals, we are also going to see uh, a lot of nuclear operation, a lot of nuclear operation, biochemicals and a lot of nuclear operation. And that is where we are. That is why Daniel is saying knowledge will increase. A lot of, you know, uh, you know, computer, computerization, electronization, this is where we are. This is all operation, or, you know, uh, as a result of much knowledge. The Bible says and knowledge will increase. So as the knowledge is increasing in the world, we are seeing a lot of innovation. And uh, that's why we saw something like Corona, something that is devised by men, because it was that it was devised by men and it was on a demonic assignment, on a demonic agenda. It was it was a rit, it was a demonic rit, litmus test. It was on an assignment. Amen. And, and uh, you know, uh, only the people who are in the spirit were able to escape this trap of the enemy. And uh, only the people who are living by faith, because the Bible says they just shall live by faith, who are not tormented by that kingdom or the, the agenda or the, the, the purpose of the agenda of the enemy. Why? Because uh, Corona was on a purpose. It was a demonic rhythm test. And one of the main theme it was to try and now see how you know the new world order because they are propagating to control human race how they'll be able you know how they you know they were testing they were testing 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 you know the human control because that's why i mean that's where the world is headed to now listen to this what are the words of god that daniel was was told to shut up and the book that was he was told to seal now this is a time god has raised a generation that is now, you know, opening up. It is now, these ones are not shut anymore. This book is not sealed anymore. You know, as the wickedness is increasing, the knowledge of God is also increasing. You know, the wisdom of God and the counsel of God is also increasing. And this is where I'm telling us, my brethren, we cannot pray a bright eye anymore. Church, we cannot just sit and wait for the new world order to bring their setup, you know, setup of 
of their of their innovations and all that it is a high time the church of jesus christ by the wisdom and the knowledge of god because foundations are being shaken it is a high time we arise by the wisdom of god as we are seeing in egypt you know let me tell you you know as you see even the wisdom of the world the wickedness of the world increasing and uh, you know the the, the 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 knowledge increasing of we of, of the of the wicked let me tell you my brethren you know let me tell you it cannot counter the knowledge of god and it cannot counter you know the 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 the, 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 the season of god hallelujah and it cannot counter you know what god is all about with us here on earth hallelujah but one thing i want the church to know is that god is preserving us we are here on an assignment and uh, and uh, we are here actually it is by us you know because we are still in a season of grace it is by us you know the nations of the world are preserved because the church is here the world is preserved because the body of jesus christ is here the day the body of jesus christ will be removed from the world oh my god the world will cease oh my god there, there will be no peace you know things will turn upside down you know why because we are you know we are the carriers or the dispensers of the healing of god in the world right now Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are there. You know, that godliness that is in us, you know, is maintaining as the salt of the world. You know, the Bible says we are the salt of the earth and the and, and, and the light of the world. So we are the cause of the preservation of, of, of the world. Hallelujah. Right now, by the grace of God. Amen. So what is the church supposed to do? Now, we cannot buy the fear of the enemy. We cannot buy the fear of the enemy. And as the kingdom of, of darkness is propagating the agenda, the nuclear season, a lot of biochemical particularly you know and that's why i told you from the word i mean from the word go you're going to see innovation of so many you know breakups of so many uh you know diseases and all those things and a lot of vaccination and all those things. that's the season we are in that's the season we are in so what is the church supposed to do let me tell you church we must arise to the occasion and take charge of the seven mountains of influence. Wherever God has positioned you as he has graced you, the people who have done, you know, uh, banking, uh, all those things connected to financial institution, kindly arise, we must begin having kingdom, uh, you know, kingdom set up or financial institution. We must arise and begin having, you know, schools that are Christian based. We must arise and have hospitals that are Christian based hallelujah we must arise and have you know you know sport and Russia you know you know and uh, these are uh, recording studios you know TV stations radio radio stations we must arise you know sports and Russia we must arise where because we have children and we are also here on earth where our children will go to you know theaters that are not wicked remand where where where, where people want to record things their movies and what have you movies that are christian based they, they will not go to consult you know uh you know theaters that are wicked demand they will not go to the studios of the wicked but we shall have our own hallelujah so we must arise to the occasion we cannot just keep on praying but doing nothing hallelujah very soon we are we are headed to you know we are headed to you know a lot of wickedness is already up in operation we are headed into a season where you know uh you know the human race will be fully controlled I have just told people where I'm coming from that even the money you have in your bank will be controlled. How much you can access in a day, how much you can access, you know, in a week, you know, how it, it, things will be controlled. Human race, this is the, the operation of the new world order. And, and you know, it is geared to one world religion, one world currency, you know, one world government. We are headed there. It's just a preparation of the, you know, uh, the operation of the Antichrist has been there, you know, with us. The Bible says that in the book of Second Thessalonians chapter 2. The operation of the Antichrist has been with us. Hallelujah. So it's not something new. So we are going to see the unfolding of, of that, you know, preparing way, you know, for, for the for the new world order, preparing the way. And the new world order will take you to the, you know, the, to the culmination of the three main things. One world religion, one, one world currency, one world government. Hallelujah. So we are going to see all those things. Because at the end of the day, that is what will be the end of 
of the matter. Hallelujah. So we are even going to see the money, the uh, you know, the paper money being withdrawn from from from, from nations, and everything is going to be computerized. Why? Because now the chip will control your data and everything. You don't need. To, we are headed to a place where you not even need the hard copy of a of a passport. Your data will be controlled in a chip, and uh, people have it easy now. The chip will just be put here. You go to an airport, you do like this. Your data is, you know, you don't need all those, you know, lining. You know, I mean, queuing and all those things. You know, we are headed there. Things are going to be made easy. You know, you go to the, uh, an ATM in a bank. You just, you know, take your forehead like this, and your data and everything. You know, you can even do like this on your pub. You know, if a chip is put here, and you can control even uh, your data and withdraw money and all those things. That's where we are headed to. So the 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 the, the paper money will very soon will be withdrawn from the you know from from the government and the central banks of nations will control so many things. Now let me tell you, my brother, even how you farm, even if you have a farm and you have a plot, particularly in the city areas of, of nations, you know things will be even be controlled. Even uh, your your garden, your kitchen garden, things will be controlled of what you can plant there and what you cannot plant. Because why? You know people, the new world order, it will even try to control food and, and all those things. Now what is the church supposed to do? Because we are here, we must arise to the occasion. And I'm requesting the church, let us let us venture out. And those who are called to farming, let us do farming. Let us invest in farming. The people who can, who are able to go that direction, let us do something in the villages, in those places. Let us do farming. Let us put our daily kettle. Let us you know where we can get our own milk, where we can get our own you know chicken, where we can get our our own meat, you know, sheep and all those things. Let us, let us arise. Let us not be ignorant. Let the season we are headed to not trap the church that we begin crying and, uh, and, and, and uh, because why we are headed there and uh, we begin crying and, uh, and uh, seeking God when we have an opportunity now to be able to do something. So let us not be ignorant. Church arise. Let us have our own farms and where we are doing massive farming that, you know, Christian based things, you know, where we are even our our manufacturing we have our own manufacturing you know plants where we cannot mess up things where we are doing things in godliness in righteousness hallelujah this is the kind of a wisdom god is giving joseph in egypt he's able to control things that a nation will not suffer in a season of famine hallelujah so we are headed to this kind of a famine you know of, of, of so many things and the church should be able to heal you know and to provide even for their own Hallelujah. Because why? For a long time, the church has been dependent on the wicked manufacturers. We have depended on the wicked governments. We have depended on the wicked, you know, schools, you know, and when they bring their rules and laws, we begin now calling for prayers. Now, why can't we come up with our own? And let me tell you, the people who are piling a lot of money in some of these banks, these banks setups are crashing. They are coming to nothing. They are coming down. Within no time, we shall, we shall see some of this system. Because why? The foundations will be shaken. That's why the Bible is asking, what will the righteous do when the foundations are shaken? So, church, I came as a voice of God in the world. Arise to the occasion. Do what you're supposed to do. Let the church gun up together. You know, a time of being divided is over. Let church institutions come up with running institutions. Let us come up with our own universities. Let us come up with our own. You know, a, a church should be a force. It's a force already to recon with. You know, let us come up with things in the nations. You know, that does not mean that we are gathering this of the world. Let me tell you, you know, we need to prepare our platform, you know, for God regeneration. We are not just talking about it. You know, we need to prepare grounds for, uh, you know, for a God regeneration of our children. You know, as we wait for the second coming of Jesus, we are still here. As long as we are breathing, we are still here. So we must arise to the occasion and do what we are supposed to do. Hallelujah. So I came as a voice to let us know, you know, whatever done was told to seal and to shut up we know it is now reviewed in our now as wickedness is increasing as the knowledge is increasing hallelujah we shall operate in the wisdom of god in the counsel of god and let me tell you where the world is headed to you know the wisdom of men and the magicians like it happened to the times of joseph in egypt you know that season is coming to an end and even the governments of the day they'll be fixed the wicked government and they'll be seeking to know how can we do this and 
they will look. That's why the Bible says in the book of Isaiah, we shall be sought after. Hallelujah. They will seek, you know, for a revelation you know, to the people who have the wisdom of God. So church, we cannot just operate and live in ignorance. We must up the game and be able to do what we are supposed to do in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And, and can I speak, can I speak? to my continent africa i love my continent africa let me tell you I, i've said this before uh you know some years i've been saying this we are no longer a dark continent let me tell you the end time move of god is being bad and breaking in the continent of africa now africa god has you know given us a lot of minerals and they're now where we are coming in and from particularly from this hour god is going to lay you know the justice of our time you know some new new faces in leadership who are going to be able uh, to take charge of, of the minerals and the resources God has released on breast Africa with and they'll be able to manage these things well what we have been lacking in Africa are governments that, now that are not selfish that are able to man the resources that God you know or become you know I hear the spirit of God say you know become faithful stewards of the resources that God has already released in Africa and where we are now coming in we are going to see such kind of setup, you know, and uh, an uprising of some you know, new breed of leadership, you know, pe you know, men and women who are going to take charge of you. We are going to see the rising of Deborahs of our day, the coming up of Esthers of our day, the Josephs of our time, the Daniels of our time, people who are full of the wisdom of God and the Spirit of God, who are going to be able to take up this challenge and you know, usher in Africa to whatever she's supposed supposed to be in this end time in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you, uh, particularly in my nation, Kenya, we are going to see, wow, you know, you know, a coming up or a, or a, or a, or a, or a you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, a discovery of minerals that we never thought are there. There's, uh, you know, something like God will be found in a, in a certain portion of, uh, of, of the nation of Kenya. We are going to see, you know, minerals. We are going to see, uh, you know, resources that God God has blessed the nation with, and we are going to see all those things. So, what, what um, as, as the Lord is doing all these things is because He's positioning, you know, uh, not only my nation Kenya, but the continent of Africa to that which God preordained for her from the beginning in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So, uh, and, uh, you know, I've been telling you, and this is now the time, you know, that the, the governments of Africa, they are going to remove barriers on borders, you know, from, from nation to nation, and we are going to see you know governments co-working governments co-working and like it is in the united states of Af I mean, of america we are going to see something like united state of africa hallelujah it is coming hallelujah and i, I hear the spirit of god say it is going to become one block it is going to become one block and that they'll be able to you know to to agree on so many things even in this edge time in the name of jesus hallelujah particularly trade and and a lot of export because why Africa has enough food to feed nations, you know, and other continents. Africa has enough resources, you know, even to export to other uh, continents that are able to manufacture. We are also going to see, you know, a lot of manufacturing, like even of cars, like in Japan, in Africa. Oh my God, hallelujah. Talk about medication, the pharmaceutical equipment and, uh, you know, medication. We are going to see such kind of plants in Africa by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Because why? We have all the resources that we need to be able to do this hallelujah so we are going to see a shift and a change of governance and leadership and uh, we are going to see all those things you know coming up by the grace of god hallelujah you know can i speak to the church in the world prepare yourself for for new faces, prepare yourself for, you know, new voices, prepare yourself, like the four lepers, prepare yourself, the word of God of this end time that was sealed now, it is now opened up, the book is not sealed anymore, so God has been preparing and equipping his own vessels for this end time move and what you are going to see, you are going to see a brand new uh, a brand new blood of people who are fearless, hallelujah I, I see, you know, people who are bold like giants, you know, they are 
are so bored they may have small bodies or their stature may be you know short stature or whatever kind of a stature but let me tell you the boldness of the spirit that is coming from these people is going to terrorize even governments of the world because why God is going to back up his word in these end times with the power and authority so wickedness you know the wicked shall do wickedly so we are going to see much of that you know we are we are, we are being terrorized but when we hear about lesbianism and all those things we are going to see very difficult things very wicked things you know innovation of very wicked things you know the other day somebody sent me a creep and told me you know sex has become now a, a, as a part of sport in one of the nations of the world you are going to see it all over you are going to see it that sex now has become you know a, one of the sports it has been passed in the, one of the constitution in one of the governments in the world in one of the nations you are going to see it you know a, as a sport hallelujah so we see now the fear of god is not there and uh, it is going to be taken to the field where people are going to pay to go and watch you know sex competition now that is wickedness where people now that's a nation that has gone out of the purpose of god you know but what what are we reading from the scripture now wicked you know people will continue doing wickedly hallelujah and wickedness will increase you know as the knowledge is increasing that is how wickedness is also increasing and as that is happening that is how godliness and god fear is also increasing to the people who love god in the name of jesus hallelujah so church we cannot operate in ignorance and we cannot just wait there we must be very high i mean i mean be on very high alert we are now having manufacturing companies who are doing things to propagate the kingdom they belong into and they are not fearing they are producing shoes and clothes with their signs you know all over they are producing links that are empowered you know they are producing chains with their with their signs you know earrings with their signs so we are there hallelujah they are producing even hair you know the the, the, the artificial hair you know with their names they are not fearing anymore hallelujah why can't church come up with their own blood hallelujah we can even come up with hair that is called you know the kingdom of god you know can you can we come up with something can we arise to the occasion we cannot continue depending on the wicked hallelujah and, and you know what the bible says in the book of proverbs you know the wicked can i read for you that scripture uh can i read for you proverbs chapter 13 and verse uh, 22 proverbs chapter 13 and verse 22 allow me to read you the scripture the part b of that the part b of that proverbs chapter 13 and verse 22 b uh, the part b of that the bible says you know and uh, the bible says um the bible says but the wealth of the sinner is stored up for the righteous the wealth of the sinner is piled up the wicked are piling up their wealth or, or their, 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 their 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 whatever their resources for the sake of the righteous now how do we get there we cannot just get there seated hallelujah you know we cannot just go and take over their manufacturing factories we have to counter that with something similar that is god based hallelujah and then our people will cross over and I'm, I'm asking the church you know and I'm asking the church you know if you look in Babylon you know the excellence in the life of, of, of Daniel can we do our things can we arise up with excellence hallelujah let us do our things our TV stations our radio stations our hospitals you know our schools ah she can you know our God is a God of order can we can we do things with excellence can we do all and say all for the glory of God can we bring down excellence of our kingdom in the name of Jesus hallelujah and when we do so we shall not be ignored people even who don't believe in God will cross over the Bible says you know when a man always praises God even his own enemies will be at peace with him we shall see even the wicked crossing over this is what we are seeing in the book of Micah chapter 4 you know in this edge times the mountain or the hill depending on the version of your Bible of the house of God shall be elevated high above all the other mountains. Hallelujah. And what do we see? We see even the wicked wanting to get hold of, of our garment, even streaming in, you know, following us up. Because why? They, they have heard that we have God and they want to get hold of the knowledge that we are operating in from this God. Hallelujah. And that is where we are. When we hear the Bible says, you know, there will be famine in this end times. Not famine of food or dust of water and all those things hallelujah but of the words of god that is where we are that means the knowledge of god 
the wisdom of God and the counsel of God, you know, will be lacking in so many places. But let me tell you, God has a remnant even in this hour by the grace of God. Hallelujah. So as the new world order is busy propagating for the agenda, church of Jesus Christ, this is no time to talk about my church. This is no time to talk about my denomination. This is no time to talk about, you know, my race or my tribe and all those things. This is a time to know as many as believed in him. They were given the power to become sons of God. We are sons of God. And if be sons, hallelujah, you know, we belong to one, we, we belong to one Lord, one spirit, one baptism, hallelujah. So we should be able to resonate from the same frequency in the name of Jesus Christ. And that is the moment of truth on the 13th day of June, 2023, it is on a Tuesday. Hallelujah. We catch up again for that minute's moment of truth on Friday and the law on Friday 16 and the Lord is going to be glorified. So we shall be doing this on Tuesdays and Friday, that minute's moment of truth and we shall be checking on where we are and what we are supposed to do as the church of Jesus Christ so that we are able to march forward by the grace of God. God bless you so much. My name is Regina, prophetess from the nation of Kenya Nairobi, you know, uh, reading a prophetic movement by the grace of God called Jubilee Prophetic Global Movement. God bless you.